Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to John's RC. So today I have a super cool UMX plane to show you guys. We, I'm actually trying to get into airplanes and I'm really liking it again. So this is the UMX Timber X. This is fairly new. It's like about four months old now from Horizon and it looks super, super good. So this is what the box looks like and it's just a standard box. It tells you everything you need to know about the airplane. We did get this as a bind and fly. I think that's the only way it comes with. So that means you need to supply yourself with your own transmitter, flight battery, and flight battery charger. But it's, uh, other than that, it's ready to go. So UMAXs, they're awesome because you just take them out of the box and it's completely built. You don't have to do anything to them. And you can see this plane looks absolutely awesome. Uh, the difference between this and something like the UMX Turbo Timber, which I have uh, right now, but I forgot to open the box for it. Um, but they shortened the wingspan, so you can see this is significantly shorter. It's a 570 millimeter wingspan, and the length is 470. But it still keeps the original timber like idea or look, so it's a high wing still. And it's got like the same canopy format, like all of the timbers, you just take it off and everything is good to go. Now for the power system, it has a, what's this? It's a 1900 kV brushless outrunner motor. And I've noticed this on a lot of the new E-Flight UMXs, but uh, they've been changing their power systems to a lot more, to be a lot more powerful. So the battery that this thing is actually using is a Spectrum smart battery. I'm using a Spectrum smart battery. It's a three cell, 300 millipower battery pack. Now, this has been like really common now, like on the UMX pits, if you remember that video. If you haven't, I think you should go watch it. It's a pretty cool video. But uh, it was two cell and three cell. The Voodoo that we recently did a video on was two cell and three cell, and this one is just three cell. So they've been upgrading a lot of the power, power systems and it looks good. So another thing that you can see is this thing does not have any like specific or like assigned flap on it. The entire, uh, the entire flap is the flap. So it's got flap runs. So the ailerons also act as flaps. And I will show you that. Just plug it in. And uh, while I'm plugging this in, I will also say that they increase the uh, size of the control surface. So it's more aggressive in the air, and it's more of a 3D plane now put this on a flat surface. Okay, canopy on. Balance and connect you. Eh. Come on. Okay. So you can see the control surfaces are enlarged by a lot, so you're gonna get a lot more throw on the plane. It does have safe select, so that means uh, when safe is toggled on, you're gonna have um, compensation for the wind, or sorry, that's A3X. A3X is the compensation for the wind. But safe select will limit the amount of freedom you get in your bank and pitch, and it will also have self-leveling, I'm pretty sure, so if you let go of the stick and you just let go, it will level itself out. So we just power it on. So you can see, this, it's on right now. It's, I'm pointing it to the left and the ailerons are going to the right. I flip it on and there's no compensation and you can do your standard 3D and everything. Now for the flap system, I have something I've never tried before, but I saw it on YouTube, so I was like, why not? But I have a flap, I need to change this. This is really little, but I have flaps for the first option, but I have spoilers for the second option. and. I mix an elevator trim to counteract uh, the pitch. So on the spoilers, it makes the plane push down. So I have the elevators going up, and for the first, it pushes the or pushes the plane up. So I have it just tiny little slight trim to kind of counteract it. But you want that lift on flaps anyway. So yeah, everything looks good. So let's go and fly it. All right, guys, we have the Timber X and we walked out to the little dirt strip that we have and everything is still working. So I have my elevator, my rudder, and my ailerons and the flap system is working. So yeah, let's go fly it. Um, I'm just gonna 
take off with safe and then I'll flip it off. See so yeah, how it hangs on the ground. That's the cool thing about these timbers. Because they have such an oversized landing gear, you can like handle it anywhere. Okay. Gonna put on my flaps. Awesome. My flight is gonna be, uh, might be kind of bad because I'm cold and my hands are kind of shaky. Okay, I'm gonna take off the switch. Let's turn this thing out. Okay, so it likes to float up. So I'm gonna go land it and push the battery forward. I'm gonna push the battery forward really quick. Yeah, I kind of had it far back. It's my mistake. Another takeoff. Alright, now we're good. This needs just slight elevator trim. The rudder is also not straight. You need to trim that out too. So, let me see. Yeah, okay. Needs to be trimmed to the left. And ailerons need to be trimmed to the left too. And I think we're good. Oh yeah. I like the way she handles. If you've been up to date with the new Horizon products, um, they did make a new simulator called Real Flight Evolution, and we will be reviewing that, but it has the UMX Timber X on it, and maybe, I said this on the M2 too, that how accuracy had its own thing for it. I never did it, but I'm just saying, we might do a real flight versus actual flight on this. She flies so well. Get some close up footage. Put our flaps up, do some touch and goes. Yeah. 
man, this thing is cool. Fly so so well. All right, how much time do I have? Oh, thirty seconds. Got my spoilers up. Nice. All right, so that was our first flight on the UMX Timber X. She flies so, so well. The control surfaces being enlarged makes this a really, really nice 3D airplane. She flies very nice and she's stable. Uh, for the first like 30 seconds, I accidentally had the battery too far back and that made her levitate up too much. Uh, so I pushed her back and she still levitated up. So I just had to gravitate it, not levitate, sorry. Um, so I had to trim it to plus 48. It's probably not ideal, so, but um, I think that's just a good starting point. So, I mean, yeah, she's really stable, and this might not be like a beginner plane because, like I said, it's more of an aerobatic timber. I think maybe like a UMX turbo timber or just the original timber, if they still have it, would be a better, like, first starter plane. But I mean, yeah, the three cell power pack flies uh, with it really nicely. She's powerful, so you're able to do a prop hang a lot easier than the UMX turbo timber. So, yeah, let's get a second flight on it. Also, awesome. made him fly, John. Beautiful flight. Congratulations.